Greetings from cold and dark Strasbourg. Even the Christmas market is quiet this year. 2015 has been that kind of a year, beset with crises of one kind or another. The crisis in the steel sector continues. Here, we voted on a report on metals demanding EU action to support the steel sector. And it was really good to see trade unions who trekked all the way out here to make sure that their concerns were heard by the MEPs. We, the Labour MEPs, met with the Competitions Commissioner, Vestager, and it was clear the Tories are wrongly putting the blame on the EU again, when it's their failure to get a grip on the crisis. The crisis in manufacturing sectors, steel and ceramics, because of cheap Chinese imports, require us to continue to fight at a European level. Of course, we all want manufacturing to grow and we will continue to work on that, but we also want our planet to be safe. That is why I really welcome the climate change agreement that was reached in Paris called COP21. Europe played a key part here, taking real leadership to push for an ambitious agenda that works for all the nations. And we've put our money where our mouth is with 475 million euros to finance climate initiatives in developing countries. Great outcomes. Let's make sure the promises made by the countries are delivered for the benefit of future generations. We must never stop the fight for a world that is safer, fairer and more equal. And that means reform both at home and abroad. Meaning we need to work together to make change happen. To do this, we must have a seat at the table. We cannot isolate ourselves from these global challenges, whether they affect us or our neighbours. Economic growth in the EU area affects us too, given we are all highly interdependent. We are a 28-member club and all are interlinked. Therefore, it is in our interest to have a well-performing euro area. This, the EU is not just about commerce. It is about values and upholding these values the world over. Today, we upheld these values when we awarded the Sakharov Prize on freedom of thought to Raif Badawi of Saudi Arabia. The blogger has been sentenced to 10 years in prison and thousand lashes simply for writing about freedom of speech. This is an outright injustice. This is not the only example of Saudis flouting human rights I hope that in this season of goodwill, Saudi Arabia would cease his flogging and free Badawi. That's it for this year. I would like to wish you, your families and your friends, season's greetings and all the very best for 2016. Thank you and goodbye.